guys so we're gonna work on this thing today uh, I'm gonna pull the motor out and I'm gonna put it in on this engine stand here that I picked up I got this for a pretty good deal it's like 150 bucks and uh, yeah it's pretty it's in pretty decent shape it's got a little gas tank on it which uh, I'm gonna see if I can uh, weld a little fitting on it like an and fitting uh, yeah, uh, this was going to be a video about going to the track, doing that the no time stuff, but uh, the day of the race, I woke up and this uh, transmission here had all of its fluid on the floor. So I spent half the day cleaning up transmission fluid off the floor, and I, I really think that maybe when we did that wheelie, I think it came down and possibly cracked the transmission somewhere or... It, it did bend the pan and I, I took it apart and tried to bend it back and it just didn't, it, it still leaks really, really bad. So I didn't want to be that guy to go to the track and oil it down and waste everybody's night. So anyway, like I said, uh, we're going to get this out of here and I'm, I want to get it to where we can, you know, we can run it on this because there's a lot of things I got to do that I don't want to do in the car. You know, I got to build a bracket. I just don't want to be going back in and out of the car to, uh, you know, scratch up the paint because the engine bay is all painted and so far I haven't touched anything. So, uh, it's in all real good shape and I don't want to just work on the, the engine in the car. So we'll get it out of there. You know, I got to do like, I got to make a, a bracket for these coils. These are, uh, Yaris coils or I guess... Uh, Toyota Prius or Yaris or whatever it's those coils so they're not they're not rigid they have to be mounted to something so I got to make a little bracket somehow off of you know the studs here um, I'm gonna have to cut this off and yeah so we got that we got the injectors we got everything that we can that we need um, other than the transmission to get it on this stand and run so um, I think I've pretty much decided what transmission I'm going to use. Uh, a buddy of mine gave me this, this TH350 over here. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is what I'm going to go ahead and use probably. So I'll order another TH350, or I'm sorry, I'll order another ATF to TH350, TH400 adapter, which is what I have in this car. It's a really good fitting kit. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not. Well, anyway, it's it's an adapter plate, and uh, you know you can bolt on any normal Chevy converter too. So it's a standard height converter. Uh, I have that's the stock converter. I, that's probably not going to be any good. It's going to probably stall really low. So we got it out without actually scratching anything. It's a little nerve wracking when you're pulling that out, you know, pulling the engine out when your engine bay is nicely painted like this. So we didn't scratch anything. Thank goodness. Almost over here. But um, yeah, I think we're good. So, so anyway, uh, let me go ahead and uh, try to position this um, near the stand and we'll see how we're going to attach it.
Okay, so it took me about an hour to fabricate this up. Uh, basically just cut off the mounts where I needed to and mounted it to the back of the, um, the bottom of the oil pan here. Uh, so whenever I go ahead and put the flywheel on, it's not gonna have any uh, interference with this because the flywheel sits inside of here. So we'll be able to start it with no issues and we'll also be able to put the transmission on if we wanted to because these bolts aren't used with the, um, the ATF adapter, doesn't use those bolts. It only bolts to the top right here, okay? And then your, your uh, transmission bolts to that. So those aren't even used. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty crude. I put a little bar here just for thrust. Uh, I, I don't think I needed it. Um, and this clamp doesn't, I can take this clamp off because I welded it. But um, yeah, that's just in case, you know, when I start it, the whole thing might twist a little bit and it'll keep it from thrusting forward. So yeah, I, it's just for safety. But yeah, I mean, it's perfect. I mounted it right to the uh, CX racing mounts and just kind of custom did it, welded it, put a little bend in it. So cut little slots and then bent it to where it needed to be bent. Um, everything clears pretty good. Pretty close to that little fitting, but it doesn't hit it. Uh, so yeah, pretty much uh, the way it sits, we can start it like that. So this will be easier for me when I'm doing, you know, work on, you know, fabricating a bracket for the uh, coils and it'll, you know, we can wire it here too. You know, I can make a harness and, and I kind of know where the harness is going to come through the firewall right here, um, right in that area there. So it's gonna come like that. So I, I can kind of guess and, you know, build out the harness as well, so. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you that uh, you can easily adapt a Jay-Z to a, you know, a small block Chevy or a small block Ford engine stand. I think you could put a big block on this too. I don't know, but uh, the, nobody really makes an engine stand for a Jay-Z. So you gotta kind of, be creative and uh, think of ways to make it work. So anyway, hopefully maybe in the next video or two, we can get this thing running on the stand and um, yeah, get it wired up and all that. Um, temporarily, I, I mean, I'm gonna probably use ECU Master on this because I'm familiar with it. So what I can do is like I can wire it up and then we can just in, you know pull this ECU out and use it on this. So just for testing purposes, but um, yeah. And then we got to do, you know, we got to do a lot of other things. We got to put a wastegate on it and, you know, just kind of fabricate some stuff to, to make this work. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, maybe the next video we'll dive into that Turbo 400 in there and see why it's leaking. And I, I'm not a transmission guy whatsoever, so, uh, Anything I learn, I'll share with you. But I'm like I said, I may have to ask an expert on this one uh, or take it to a transmission shop. I've never dug into a transmission, so I don't know what I'll be getting into. But anyway, that's going to do it. Check you all later.